Hey guys, Colgan here with a let's play of The Legend of Alpha. This game is a first person shooter made by Ayamo Research Institute using the Unreal Engine. They're a small Japanese indie dev team and a first person shooter coming from Japan is a rarity to say the least. It's even rarer to come from an indie studio. So I'll be giving a rough translation of all the dialogue throughout the game. But I would suggest that you click on the link in the description and read the full translation while I'm playing it just so that you have a better understanding of what's happening. So let's get started. Now from what I understand this is a very story driven game and as this is my first time playing it I'm just going to play through it on easy for this recording so that I can see what the story is like too. And when I'm done I'll play through it on a harder difficulty myself. Now, the main characters are Leon and Shalnawaz Auric. They're brother and sister, and Leon is one year older. So what's happening here is they're both hunters, and they're trying to kill this bird so that they can sell it. And Leon is bragging about his great skill so that everything will be fine. Now, the year is 312 by the Imperial calendar, or 1048 by the Dionysus calendar. Now, they just sold a bird for a very good price so that they can have a special dinner tonight. I don't know why they just didn't eat the bird. So they're heading back to their village now, but they see smoke. And now that they see their village is on fire, they're wondering what's happened. Alfer, the country that Leon and Shalnawaz are from, has just been attacked by the Elg's Dominion. They've just been surrounded by the Elg soldiers and the soldiers are telling them to drop their weapons. Gustav Olam, the Lord of the Elg's Dominion, has given permission to his soldiers to pillage and plunder and the people of Alfer are being sent back to Elg's to work as slaves. Uh, Leon is asking what will become of them and Shalnoise is reassuring him that they'll be alright. This is Jeva Sadira, he's a high ranking politician in Elgs and he's telling them that they'll be slaves for the rest of their lives. And he's telling Shalnoise that she's pretty to look at and she will be used for their lord's pr pleasure. And I should point out that Leon called Shalnoise Nechan. So he he probably won't call her by her actual name throughout the game. He'll probably just call her Nechan all the time. Okay, so we're in the back of a wagon. Okay, so Jeva is telling his soldiers to leave so that their lord can inspect the slaves. And Gustav is asking Jeva if he captured good slaves this time. Jeva tells him that he has captured good slaves and that they're in the wagon. I'm hoping this part is a bad translation, otherwise Gustav has a thing for young boys. Now Jeva says that unfortunately Gustav cannot have them. Gustav is confused. Jeva says that he cannot serve Gustav anymore and he tells him goodbye. So it seems like Jeva just shot Gustav. Leon's wondering what happened. And I'm guessing that was Jeva that threw the gun in. And he's telling his soldiers that the slaves have killed their lord and he orders them to kill the slaves. All the noise seems to have scared the horses though and they're running away with the wagon.
Okay, so Shalnoaz is untying their ropes and she's asking Leon if he's okay. Leon says that he's alright and he asks what's happening. Shalnoaz says that they have to get out of here and tells Leon to give her the gun. Leon gives her the gun but tells her that it has no ammo. Shalnoaz, Shalnoaz says no problem and that she'll search for a safe area. Okay. So I'm gonna guess this is a tutorial mission. Yep, this is the tutorial. We got W A S A D to move. We got F to pick up a weapon. And I'm guessing this yellow circle is where we have to move to on the map. But it still shows me to stand here, so. I guess I should just wait. So that's R to reload. Press 1 and 2 to change weapons or mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. Unless we got a sniper rifle. I'll use that instead of the pistol since we have no ammo. Okay, if you have the sniper rifle, press shift to hold your breath to steady your aim. And space to jump, shift to sprint. Okay, so once this tutorial is over, there won't actually be much to translate during the levels, so I'll actually be able to talk about the game itself. Uh, Java is telling his soldiers that it looks like the wagon fell around here, and he's telling his soldiers to search for it. Leon is telling Shalnoaz to wait up and don't leave him behind. Okay, and the green icon on the compass is our companion. Press Q to tell him to come here. And press Q twice to tell him to stop. Okay, so that'll be useful. Okay, so... Let's get on with it. It's just telling us that there's an enemy there. Okay, and that's it for the tutorial. Okay, Shalnama says they can't turn back because there are enemies all around them. She says that they have to return to Alpha. It's the only way they can survive. She tells Leon to fight too and they'll go to Alpha together. Leon says that he'll fight too. Okay, so Java says that their lord was killed by the slaves and that he will be deputizing as the lord and informs his soldiers to tell everyone. A soldier says, yes, sir. Java says that we must kill the slaves and orders Imer Berleons to do it. Imer says that she understands. So I guess there you have it. Java's motives are becoming clear. He killed Gustav so that he can become the new lord of the Elg's dominion. And I'm guessing that Imer is a high-ranking military official. So now we get to choose which character we want to use. Leon is slower. He runs slower and he reloads slower, but he has more health. Shalnawaz has less health, but she runs faster and she reloads faster. So I'm going to pick Leon. Now I'm not going to translate any of this dialogue throughout the levels because it's nothing of importance to the story. It's just our character saying there are enemies ahead of us, enemies behind us, enemies chasing us, which direction do we go and so on. So I'm going to pick off the G36C instead of the pistol. Because as far as I know, you can only carry two weapons. 
Okay, we got a lot of ammo so far. Now because it's on easy, just so I can see what the story is like, it shouldn't be too difficult, so we shouldn't have to worry about dying as long as we <laughs> don't do anything too stupid. Well, there seems to be an abundance of ammo around, so you shouldn't have to worry about ever running out of ammo, it seems like, if this is anything to go by. Unless they're just easing you into it since it's the first level. That's a lot of enemies there. I'm not sure what the point of these combos are. Or if there is any point to them. So there doesn't seem to be anything on the screen that indicates points or anything like that. Unless it's just your kill streak, some bragging rights. And the AK seems to be the weapon of choice for the enemies, so... Seems like this is going to be your standard weapon of use throughout all the levels. Yeah, I'm going to take the sniper rifle. Let's just test it out. The sniper rifle doesn't seem to zoom in that far, unless if I hold right click. Yep. Holding right click zooms you in much further. But you only get one shot. And it auto zooms out after that. Yeah, the sniper rifle is very useful here. Very long area, so you get to pick them off. Oh, that's some appalling accuracy right there. I don't know where all of these enemies are coming from. Do I just have to advance further to stop them spawning, or... Do I just have to survive enemy waves? Oh, they seem to be coming across the bridge. Okay, so an enemy spawn point might be on the other side of the bridge, or perhaps an enemy base. Take out our sniper rifle again. Probably shouldn't be hip firing a sniper rifle like that. Okay, so that message you saw on the top left of the screen is just indicating that we hit a checkpoint. So if I die, I'll probably just respawn back here. Okay, so I'm going to guess that I have to cross this bridge. But the yellow icon on the compass th says that I should stay here. So I'm going to guess I have to survive the enemy waves here before that I can cross safely. It seems like a pretty decent game so far. The firing on the AK, well, using the iron sight seems to be a little off, but using the sniper rifle is perfectly fine, it's very accurate. Yeah, you get stuck here. If you stand this spot, you kind of get stuck a bit. And I noticed back earlier in the level, I kind of got stuck a little on a flat surface for a second or two. I don't know how many more enemies are going to come because the compass is still telling me to stand here. Okay, hopefully that's all of them. Because I mean with the amount of ammo that's dropping, I could pretty much stay here all day and kill them.
Look, I'm just not running out of ammo at all. So I could stay here for a very long time and kill them. If I needed ammo, I could just quickly rush across and pick up the guns. So they all seem to be dead now. So look at that. All that ammo. You are never going to run out of ammo. Oh, got one. Oh, we got two up there in the hill. Take out the sniper rifle. Okay, so they're all dead. Yeah, I got stuck in a flat surface here too. Uh, I hope this doesn't happen a lot because that could get very annoying. Especially if you're trying to run away and duck into safety. So that's the end of stage one. Okay, so one of the soldiers says that the slaves have escaped into El Leon Canyon. Eimer says that we're resisting, and the soldier says we appear to be heading to Alpha's border. Eimer says that if that's true, they must head through Yun Highland, and the soldier says it would be a good place to ambush them. Eimer says that there's a supply unit of the 2nd Division in Yun Highland and that they'll kill Leon and Shalnoaz there. Okay, so this is nice. We get to pick the character at the start of each stage, so I think I'll pick Shalnoaz for this level. And Shalnoaz seems to start with a different weapon. She starts with the G36C instead of the AK. But they both start with a pistol. She's got enemies here. Yeah, I'm liking the G36 more than the AK so far. Much more accurate. I wonder what crouch if crouching is any use in this game. We'll find out. Nope. Crouching doesn't seem to increase the accuracy. Usually when you crouch in a game, the reticule will shrink to give you better accuracy. But it doesn't seem to be the case in this, so I'm guessing it's just for ducking behind a rock so that you'll be safe. Other than that, it appears to have really no use. And I'm still trying to figure out what these combos are for, if there's any point to them. Got a pistol, more ammo. G36E ammo. And a sniper rifle, but judging by this area here, a sniper rifle wouldn't be much use. So I don't know why they decided to put one there. The game has a very anime feel to it. Story so far is pretty nice and I'm kind of hoping the levels do get somewhat longer. I hope they're not all as short as the first one. Okay, I just died on easy. Shalnoaz really cannot take any damage. She's got almost no health whatsoever, so... I'm guessing with Shalnoaz it would be better to sit at the back with a sniper rifle. Okay, so I'm not gonna rush ahead like that again. She has no health, so she really can't take any damage. I'll let Leon go ahead and soak up all the hits. And your health does regenerate. All you have to do is sit back and not take any damage for a bit, and your health will restore. Wow, that guy ragdoll. Who is shooting me? 
think I was getting shot by Leon there. I'm running out of G36 ammo, so I need to use my AK. Okay, go ahead, Leon. Oh, I don't think you can tell him to go ahead with Q. I think it just calls them to you. Oh, cool. You can kick the bodies around by running into them. Okay. Well, G36E customized. I'll take a look at that in a second. It seems to be safe. Now let's take a look at this. What's the difference? Does it have more ammo? Let's find out. Oh, it fires faster. I'm gonna guess stronger and faster, but way more inaccurate. So I think I'll probably stick with the normal one for now. And they don't seem to share ammo, so... Now, do I just advance through here, or is this another area where I just have to survive the enemy waves? There's a lot of enemies nearby. Plenty of ammo too, so I should probably use the AK instead of the G36. Although the AK seems to be the weakest weapon in the game. Only basing that on what I've seen so far. It's much weaker than the G36. It's less accurate too. Yeah, it looks like I definitely have to just sit back and survive some enemy waves here. AI actually seems to be pretty brain dead in this game. They just really swarm you in large groups. Nothing else. And I've just noticed actually that the weapons seem to fire blue lasers. That's kind of strange. Yeah, I really don't want to be running out like that when I'm using Shalnawaz. Like I said, no health. Yeah, hopefully that's all of them. Right, so this is where we go. Oh, we got the M16. Uh, where's Leon going? Okay. G36 heat customized. Oh, we got more enemies. I would have liked if they had more story dialogue during the levels too, as opposed to just Oh, hey, there's enemies here, there's enemies there. Or maybe just some interaction between Leon and Shalnawaz. Just talking about wanting to get home or something. Anything, really. Oh, I need to take cover. Okay, hip firing is horrible with the G36. I suggest you don't do it ever. <laughs> with the AK, it's not so bad, but the G36, it's appalling. Okay. So I don't know why they were just standing in here and guessing this is like a spawn point or something. Okay, so we got a sniper rifle. Oh, the Tignov 2. I've got the Tignov 1, so the Tignov 2 must be stronger. Let's find out. Yeah, the Tignov 2 is a one-shot kill, whereas the Tignov 1 
It needs two shots. Oh, this is another survive the enemy wave part. Which seems to be all the game is so far, is just survive all the enemy waves. And if that's true, it could get really boring really fast. I had to do it on the bridge in the first level, and so far I've had to do it, I think, twice on this level. Oh my god, my accuracy is awful. Can't seem to pick up the extra ammo from the Tickin' Off 2 that respawned. Maybe it's because the Tickin' Off 1 is on top of it. Oh, duck behind cover is getting shot a lot there. Yeah, there we go, now I can pick it up. And we got another Tickin' Off 1 here. And the G36C. So like I was saying, it's just survive the enemy waves so far. I hope this isn't a recurring theme throughout the game. I hope they actually start doing something different as opposed to just sit back at the end of a level with a sniper rifle and pick off all the enemies. Okay, there's another one. They all seem to be dead now, so I guess I should advance forward. Take it slow, just in case. Oh, no. <laughs> Better get back to my spot. I got stuck on the ground there again. I don't know why, but I keep getting stuck on flat surfaces. Oh god, I keep missing. Okay, my accuracy is appalling with this rifle on moving enemies. <laughs> I don't know where Leon ran off to. But I need him back here. He seems to be running out just attacking them head on. I don't know if your companion can die or if they have infinite health. Yeah, it looks like Leon is stuck on the flat surface. Okay, only two left it looks like. No, oh, and here come more running in. Quite a lot of enemies you have to survive through. Leon, why are you shooting at me? Yeah, he's shooting me. You treacherous bastard. Okay. Oh my god, how many more are there? Leon, stop shooting me. <laughs> oh my god. Leon. He pretty much spent the entire time sitting back there with them shooting me. And now he decides to follow me. What an asshole. Oh wait, what was this? Is that the... Ah, the AK. Never mind. I thought it looked like a customized version of the AK. I think we should be coming up to the end of this level now. Because that was a really long wave to survive. Yep, here are all the enemy supplies. A lot of weapons, ammo. And Leon's just pointing that out that... It's the enemy supply unit, lots of guns, ammo, bombs. And they find a wireless communicator and they've taken it. So that they can listen to the L's communications.